Dr. Evil Genius here with a gameplay commentary. This time going back to Black Ops 3. Playing some hardcore kill confirmed on infection. Why the fuck do they call this map infection? It's a fucking snow map. I don't see any evidence of any infection. There's no 28 days later. There's no 28 weeks later. And why am I only recognizing this weirdness after... I don't know, four months of playing Infinite Warfare? Well, why am I even playing this game to begin with? Well, I wanted to bring a commentary to you guys, thanking you guys for more than 300 subscribers. And when I went to turn on my PS4 Pro, lo and behold, the Infinite, uh, the Infinity Ward servers were down. So Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remaster were down and still are down at the time of me recording this video, but I wasn't gonna let me let that stop me because I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, my time here on YouTube and to thank you and you meaning you the viewers and everybody who uh, networked to bring viewers to my channel, especially in the last couple of months. So. I know I'm a little bit late bringing you this uh, thank you for 300 video and I know for many people this may not sound very significant but it is very significant to me. I really do appreciate and I enjoy all of the interaction of everyone that has come to my channel and has communicated with me, sat through streams with me, complaining about games and dealing with Vex and his weird sounds and uh, all kinds of shit, right? You guys have been with me through a lot of stuff, and I don't really consider myself to be that entertaining, but to have so many people that come through my streams consistently, uh, people who will come through my stream, uh, and then I won't upload or I won't stream for a month or two, I come back and these motherfuckers are right on it. As soon as I get online, they're here. Really do appreciate all of you guys. You guys know who you are. But I wanted to take out this time to really focus on a couple of guys that have helped me grow since hitting 200 subscribers. Uh, first of all would be JD from NY. A lot of you guys know that he doesn't really do a lot of COD content. When I met JD, it was during Black Ops 2 days and I really liked his delivery and I found him to be very entertaining. But over the months and weeks years whatever you want to call it uh the popularity of cod has died down i've stuck with it but people have moved on the other content he's very passionate about his wwe content and you know we you know i stay sub to him i don't really watch as much wrestling because i don't really like the wwe product right now but i do still enjoy listening to him so i want to give a, uh, a shout out and a thanks thank you to him Another guy that I want to thank is uh, Tabor Hill. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at Stonewall Tabor, T-A-B-O-R. And I'd like to thank him because he helped me as well. Uh, he's been really gracious. He's this fucking close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. And so, you know, I want to give him a little bit of a, a congr congratulations for that. Uh, but he, you know, has liked videos of mine. He has uh, engaged in conversation with me. And I'm really a nobody on YouTube. I'm an absolute fucking nobody. And here's this guy with 97, 98,000 subscribers. And he still shows respect. He's an awesomely nice guy. If you don't know him, definitely get to know him. The link to his channel will be in the description. Uh, really, uh, thank you for your help, Tabor Hill. Uh, not just for your help videos, but for being just a swell ass guy. Well, but getting back to JD, I, I got a, a phone call from JD a couple of days ago. And he said, listen, I know, um, he said, listen, I want to, I want to drop 10 pounds. I'm going to WrestleMania. I don't want to look in you know, the way that I look. I want to look better. I want to feel better. And he says, you know, I know that you're not going to tell me any bullshit. You're going to tell me exactly what it is. What can I do to lose weight? without going to the gym and I'm like well um yeah about that <laughs> so I went you know I have all this information all this health and wellness and fitness information that just kind of swims in my head I've always wanted to kind of 
meld that with a lot of the gameplay stuff that I do here. But you guys don't really give a fuck about fitness, so I don't really talk about it. But, you know, to have him say, hey, you know, I need help. You're the first guy that I'll, I'll go to. You know, I just want to look good. You know, I want to feel good or whatever. I'm like, listen, you know, let's make this a lifestyle. Let's get our health and wellness in check so that we're not trying to scramble in a six week dash to lose to lose X number of pounds. Let's do this the right way. Let's get aggressive about this, just like you've gotten aggressive with your YouTube career. I mean, if you have been watching JD from NY206, if you've been watching his content, as long as I've been watching his content, there was a time where, yeah, he only had like two, 3,000 subscribers, and he was yelling and cursing and screaming. He barely had a tagline. He barely had any catchphrases. And I remember him back then. And to see him be so aggressive and to pour his heart and soul into his work on uh, Off the Script and all of his other uh, endeavors and on YouTube, on Twitch. Uh, he's uploading Resident Evil 7 these days. You've got um, his podcast stuff and he's got the artwork and the whole nine yards. Uh, he's put so much into it. So I say, hey man, you know, why don't you put that aggression that determination why don't you put that into your own health and wellness your own body and he got to thinking about it and lo and behold I said listen <laughs> you come to my house and I'll take it from there whatever concerns you have I will allay all your fears you won't have to worry about killing yourself trying to get fit I'm gonna help you I'm gonna keep you in the game I want you to actually succeed at this he thought about it and he said, you know what? I'm going to show up. Next day, it's after 9 o'clock. I sent him a text message. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, this motherfucker ain't going to show up. Then I get a text message back saying, oh, yeah, I'll be there. I'm just feeding my cat. <laughs> and I'm like, this motherfucker is going to show up. I spent a few hours with him. Really went over the, the, the concepts because I have this philosophy of love of self by knowing thyself. And what I mean, what I mean by knowing thyself is... Not really just, hey, you know, some philosophical meta bullshit, but really knowing your own body, caring about how you feel, not ignoring pain, not ignoring discomfort, and really working to make your quality of your life better. And he was laser focused, just like he is when he does his off the script. And it was a really good time. And he's just so determined to succeed. And anybody that's determined to succeed, I will help you in any way possible. It just so happens that he asked me for my professional expertise, and he is going to get it. So, you know, he, he didn't have to shout me out on, off the script, and I, I'm really very gracious. And I think maybe 15 or 20 people have already showed up. I was, uh, working, I was working out in my living room, and I get all of these... Uh, I get all of these notifications from Google saying, you know, so-and-so is subscribed. I'm like, I'm getting bot subscribers. I don't need fake subscribers. And then I'm like, oh, shit. JD uploaded off the script. <laughs> so uh, now we're well over 300 subscribers strong. And some people have checked out my content. They've liked it. And I, I feel the, I feel galvanized. I feel like I really want to make even better content. I want to put more emphasis on being enthusiastic about my streams getting my streams in more often uh, I really I really do like to entertain uh, I really do like to be there when there's nothing else for you to do and I don't know there's really not so much to say you know I've had so many people help me from I am money from the very beginning putting my gameplay up on this channel I'll never ever 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 forget what he's done for me both in you know helping me grow in the first year and uh, you know, shouting me out and, and, and giving me so much inspiration, and you know, there's so there's so many people that I, I've watched their content. These people don't know or give a fuck who I am, but they've helped. I'm not going to mention any names because why bother? They they're not going to watch this video. But I, I just think about where I am in life right now, and where I am on YouTube. And yeah, I've only got 300 subscribers. You know, three and a half years in, but. They're my 300 subscribers. They're, 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 these are people that, again, and you've probably heard me say this a thousand times, you guys don't have to subscribe. You guys don't have to come to my streams. 
You guys don't have to provide me with uh, entertainment. You guys don't have to do any of this, but yet you guys do it. And, you know, that's why I went back to Black Ops 3. So I could get you guys some content because I, it's so many people to thank. Uh, so many people have kept me in this YouTube endeavor when it really hasn't been easy. Uh, but I'm still here and I'm here because of you guys. Um, thank you so, so much. And what's the deal with all this blurry number shit? Was this always here? See how the numbers are all blurry and the font is all blurry? I don't know. Some weird ass shit. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next streams and videos. See you motherfuckers later.